Welcome to the Membership Mindset Workshop. As we get started, a couple of housekeeping reminders. Please keep your mics muted. If you have any questions, please type them in the chat box. We'll be monitoring that during the presentation. For now, in the chat box, please introduce yourself. Tell us your name, the PTA unit you are from, and what your position is with your PTA. Hello everyone, my name is Renee Daniels and I am the Membership Engagement Specialist for New York State PTA. I am your source of positivity. I'm here to help you recharge your mindset so that you can create new and meaningful approaches to grow your membership and encourage you with helpful ideas to engage your members. Our goals for this workshop are to focus on using a positive mindset to help you create simple practices for membership campaigns. We will look at online tools to complement traditional methods and we will share ideas for best practices. At the end of the workshop, I will share all the links in the chat box. Congratulations, if you are here, that means you are making it through one of the toughest times we have ever faced in our lifetime. 16 months of negativity, misinformation, fake news, real news, who can you trust? Anger, road rage, hate speeches, wear a mask, don't wear a mask, changing guidance, work from home, school from home, anxiety, depression, racism, violence, online bullying, child abuse, reopening schools, politics, and the list goes on. There is a lot of anger and negativity out in the world right now, and it is very hard to keep our spirits up and still have a positive attitude. But it wasn't all bad, was it? My dad always used to say to me, Inside every dark cloud is a silver lining. You may not see it right away, but it's there. You just have to look for it. It may take some time before you see it, so be patient. In the past 16 months, we've had a lot of positive things happen as well. In the chat box, tell me one thing you have done personal or PTA related that gave you a wonderful feeling, no matter how big or small. This is going to be hard because many do not like to toot their own horn, but you must share. I purchased groceries for a mom in line at the grocery store. She did not have enough money in her account to cover her purchase. Many of us who have slowed down count our blessings more often. We are practicing kindness in more ways we are learning to let go of things we cannot control. We try to listen to our hearts more often than we do someone else's opinion. But the one thing I personally have come to realize is that mindset is everything. According to Kendra Cherry at VeryWellMind.com, positive thinking does not necessarily mean avoiding or ignoring the bad things. Instead, it involves making the most of a potentially bad situation, trying to see the best in other people and viewing yourself and your abilities in a positive light. To have a positive mindset, we pay attention to the following. We focus on the good things. We practice gratitude. We keep a gratitude journal. We keep a sense of humor. We spend time with positive people. We practice positive self-talk. We identify areas of negativity and we begin everything with a positive note. It's time for a fresh approach. Using positive mindset as a guide, let's create a great and meaningful membership campaign for this school year. Focus on all the good things your unit has accomplished in the past both pre-pandemic and during these last difficult months. Learn what plans are being made for the coming school year. Having all this information handy will help you in your monthly drives because parents and teachers need to know what it is that they are supporting. 
Begin planning your membership campaigns for the coming year. A great place to start is to review the last two years of campaigns. Ask yourself, what worked well? What needs improving? Practice gratitude by personally thanking members for their support at the end of the school year and share with them a recap of what the PTA has accomplished so far. Practice gratitude and ask that they renew their membership. As they rejoin, send off a quick email to thank them. As new members join, shoot them off a quick message as well, thanking them. Then reach out again and again. Repeat your gratitude multiple times throughout the year. Keep a gratitude journal. It's simple. Download your member list from Member Hub and add a few extra columns. Include a column for miscellaneous or special acts performed by members. Do you see a pattern? Are there members that show up repeatedly? This may help your unit find its next leaders. Keep a sense of humor. Look, it's not the end of the world if things do not go the way you planned. This presentation I have personally started 10 times before my final recording. Give yourself some grace. Make note of any mistakes. Apologize if it is warranted and breathe. Take a break and come back refreshed and renewed. In the chat box, share with us some rejuvenating practices that you have. For me, I like to get lost in a book for it takes my mind off of my worries. If we spend time with positive people, the dreamers, the doers, the believers, and the thinkers, with those who see greatness within us. This has the power to change our lives and perspectives. According to Jen Taylor at happier.com, happiness is contagious. One of the best ways to find happiness is to find those who know how to nurture and create their own. Laughter is a great way to bond with others. Share laughter or spend time having fun with them. This is a great way to bond and get to know each other better. Less complaining is good for everyone. We all know life can be hard and it is important that we acknowledge the negative things in our life. However, we should not dwell there. It is refreshing to spend time with people who don't waste time and energy complaining. You can almost feel your spirits lifting around someone who is willing to see the good in things. Learn coping strategies. We all have our strategies for dealing with hard days and rough times, but it can't hurt to take inspiration from those around you. They may have ideas you haven't even considered. We become like those we keep closest. Look around at your inner circle of friends and confidants. Are they who you would like to become? Do you admire and respect them? If not, perhaps you should consider why you don't and open your circle to new inspirations. Become familiar with national and New York State PTA efforts, and just as important, the efforts of your PTA. You do not need to know it all, but knowing just a couple of the actions that national and New York State PTA are taking will help you to help your members understand what their membership means. Keep it positive. Stick to the things that you love the most because it will shine through. And when it shows, members will know it's important. What has your PTA done in the last two years? Do you have a solid knowledge of what your goals are in the coming year? Make sure you have this information handy so you can talk about your PTA's efforts with positivity and confidence. Remember that it's important for growth, both in a personal manner and as a PTA to recognize when things are not going right. Make plans to correct and share information with members on how your PTA will improve and rework those areas. This is important as this will help members feel better 
about the efforts of your PTA and their support. They will always be obstacles and challenges that are beyond your control. Remember, you cannot control what others think, feel, or say, but you can control your actions. Your efforts as a member chair for your PTA should be transparent and communication should happen regularly to help minimize these moments. A lack of communication or unclear communications breed doubt, frustration, distrust, and confusion. It causes members to question your PTA and the value of their membership. This in turn can lead to feelings of resentment towards volunteers and their hard work. They quickly lose confidence in the PTA's efforts and eventually will withdraw supporting the programs and activities your PTA provides. Invite others to get involved to help make improvements. Turn this negative into a positive. Beginning with a positive note, if you have not yet started your plan for your membership campaigns for the coming year, now is the time to begin. Make a plan. What if I could make membership better? What if I could grow our membership? Allow your what if to feed that flame in your mind. You have the potential to create, build, and have meaningful memberships only if you believe you can. Pick a theme. In the chat box, tell us your favorite membership theme. My most favorite theme, the PTA tree. It is so versatile. The leaves can be anything. Leaves, snowflakes, flowers, holly, pumpkins, hearts, apples, school mascot. It goes on and on and on. Announce your goal. Choose your incentives. Create your forms and set up your member hub store and get the word out. The greatest tool you could ever have is a membership binder. Contact your PTA president to find out if your unit has a membership binder already. If they do, take some time to review it and look over the efforts of the previous member chair. If there is not a membership binder, you can create one yourself. It's easy. Start out with the following tabs. Plan. You will need easy access to review your monthly outline. This will help you stay on track with your campaigns and focuses that will work on, that we will work on throughout the school year. Calendar. Keep a school calendar here and a calendar of your unit's planned events, fundraisers, and other activities. You should also request a copy of your region calendar so you will know when important state and region events trainings are held and keep a list of state awards and monthly focus. Create a who's who for your unit and put it in your contacts tab. This is a snapshot of officers, chairs, and school personal names, phones, and email addresses. Review this list often to help you keep track of who has joined and who has not. Bylaws. As a member chair, you need a copy of this document as it explains the membership year along with dues and other important dates and information. It is not a top secret document and it is to be shared with PTA members. Resource guide can be found on the New York State PTA website. Download, and if you're able to print out a copy, keep it handy. This document goes into greater detail on the duties and suggested actions that you take throughout the school year. Idea Bank. One of the greatest tools you'll ever use is the internet. Using Google and Pinterest, you can search out themes and ideas for membership campaigns and incentives. The ideas are endless. Keeping an idea bank will help you keep track of those ideas that you have tried and that you have would like to try. Forms, keep plenty of blank forms handy. Unit info, information such as your unit name and unit number and membership goal can be found in member hub. Have a member hub tab 
where you keep notes handy on the Member Hub system. Google and Pinterest, oh, the things you will find. Search PTA membership. Feel free to use other groups ideas too. Just because it doesn't say PTA doesn't mean that it can't be used for your PTA. Canva.com, Etsy.com for a price, or use Word to create your own flyers is now fun and easy. Your calendar app. I am a fan of the calendar app on my phone, but paper works too. In all honesty, it really doesn't matter which one you use so long as you use it. Use it to help you keep track of all things PTA, including your dues payment dates. Member Hub. There are some really nifty new features that were rolled out in Member Hub. So whether you are new to Member Hub or a long time user, please schedule a one-on-one -on -one training with a Member Hub specialist. National PTA has a website and a Facebook page. On their website, you can find all sorts of e-learning courses that are short, sweet, and to the point. You do not need to, you do need, I'm sorry, you do need to create an account in order to view them, but it is free and they are worth it. National PTA also puts out a membership toolkit every year as well. Check it out. The links will be posted in the chat box at the end of the workshop. New York State PTA also has a website with a whole section dedicated to membership that is filled with great resources, such as membership awards, a membership toolkit, helpful member hub links, and membership newsletter archives, where you can read past issues. I highly recommend you check them out as we share success stories from PTA units across the state of New York that excel in membership. Check out what they are doing to make their membership soar. New York State PTA also has a Facebook page and a leaders group. Please join this group as we talk about membership and other PTA related, related topics often. New York State PTA A also has great workshops in their state events like this one, SLC, our summer leadership conference. Every November, we have our annual convention. This year will be held November 19th through the 21st. This convention will be held in Syracuse, New York, which is also the home of the very first convention, which was held 125 years ago. And webinars on many topics. Find and view past webinars on the New York State PTA site. That link will also be shared in the chat box at the end of the workshop. Another very helpful item on the New York State website is the resource guide. I will post that link as well. Make sure you check out the section dedicated to membership. Your region PTA is your local connection to New York State PTA. The link to find your region and region director will be posted in the chat box. Your region director can also get you in touch with your region member chair. This person will have oodles of information and helpful ideas. Region PTA will also have training available to you. Please note that expenses associated for attending New York State PTA and region trainings are an approved use of your PTA's funds. Member Hub, one-on-one -on -one training sessions. I've mentioned this previously and I cannot express how great this is and it's free. It can be scheduled according to your availability. Best practices, ask people to join every month. Send paper notices, email notices, use Member Hub, post on social media every month all year long. Here's a neat little tip. On your Facebook page for your PTA, as you see people liking and commenting, 
on your Facebook posts, check your membership list. Are they members? If not, send them a message. Hey, I've noticed that you've commented or have liked our Facebook post. We'd like to invite you to join and become a member. Here's the link to join online. Make sure that they know that volunteering is not a requirement to be a member. Enter memberships as soon as you get them. Do not hold them. And remember to shoot off that thank you for joining email. This will be your first opportunity to engage your members. Have two people count the membership dues collected and turn it into your treasurer right away. Report at every meeting the number of new members, your total number of members, and the goals or awards achieved or the ones that you are working on. Meet your unit's goal, which is found in Member Hub, as early as possible so you don't have to worry about it each month. As time goes on, it gets harder and harder to sell memberships. The school year moves along very quickly. Remember, just because New York State PTA has a different monthly focus, it does not mean that you have to wait to promote that goal for that month, in that month. Example, if you sell 100% of your goal and enter and pay for those memberships by September 30th, and say 30% of that goal is for students, even though you did it all in September, you will still earn the Student Rock Award in November. The deadlines for awards and focuses are the end dates. You can earn them all early. So tell everyone that you have a goal and that your goal opens up your PTA to awards, money, and a whole lot more. If you meet your goal early, it makes it so much easier to focus on making the most of those members. Reevaluate your efforts and look for ways you can improve. Give yourself time when faced with changes. If you need to change things, give yourself adequate time to really put your new plan into perspective. Open yourself to learning about new tech, self-improvement, and professional growth opportunities. When it comes to tech, start small. Don't overwhelm yourself with the latest and greatest Try looking at some self-improvement speakers. I love Rachel Hollis and I totally recommend her. Or listen to some TED Talks. Personal growth is just as important to you as it is to your PTA. Communicate. I really cannot stress this enough. Put your PTA's logo on everything. Don't have a logo? Email me. I will get you one. Having the information out there for parents is paramount. School newsletter, principal messages, classroom notices, email, text, website, member hub, social media. Get your word out. Share what your membership dues are used for. Depending on what the dollar amount you set for your dues. Remember, it's listed in your bylaws. Units use that money for things such as paying for annual insurance or to fund other programs like character education awards. I want you to not just be good to yourself and to others. I want you to be excellent to yourself and others. Eat right, get plenty of exercise and sleep. <laughs> 